All right, wad number three, final wad is a chipper. 17 minute AMRAP chipper. You're going to 200 battle ropes, 15 feet each length. So you'll measure every battle rope. Mine are 20, you can go longer and you just can't go shorter. Battle ropes, the rope must be in full frame and show full work all the way through. From those battle ropes, you will go to dumbbell snatch. You're gonna go to 100. So 200 battle ropes, 200 singles, that's 100 two for ones. Then you're going to 100 single dumbbell snatch. So you'll start from the lap, snatch overhead, alternate. So 50 each arm. All right, those weights are gonna be 35 for the guys. Sorry, 25 for the guys and 15 pound dumbbell for the girls. From the 100 snatch, you're gonna to go to 50 push-ups. 50 push-ups will be on the ground and a chair. Then 25 meter crawl, uh, 25 foot crawl, which will mark out on the area. Final with uh, five ring muscle-ups and then repeat. For 17 minutes is the is the chipper and the AMRAP. We'll go over all those in a second. Okay, for the 200 battle ropes, same as in the open. Rope must make it all the way to the end. It must be full ripple in the rope all the way in. Each rep this time. For 200 is a single rep, so this is one, two, three, four. Or if you want to count them every other one, you can do up. It'll be 100 total reps, so two. But basically, as long as you are moving from here and having a full ripple to the end, it's considered a wrap. From the battle ropes, you're coming with a single arm dumbbell snatch, 25 pounds for guys, 15 pounds for girls. Again, you'll show the measurement of the battle ropes. You're going to show the weight of the dumbbell. You're going to show the length of the crawl area. All right, and from there, we're going to go from the lap. So you can start it from the floor and pick it up. And from there, you're going to go overhead, lock out, alternate. That's one rep. Two, three, four, locking out overhead. All right, so what would be considered not a rep is pulling, turning over, not locking out. So here, not a rep. Rep has to finish, locked out. And then again, if you only if you don't come all the way back down to the position to pull back up, so if you came and did this, that's not a rep either. So we want to see from here to overhead, snatch, snatch. Continuously. Whether or not you do this from a chair or from the floor is up to you. Uh, you can do it sitting on a box if you wanted to, but you must be in a seated position and finish overhead locked out. Again, 25 pounds for the guys, 15 pound dumbbells for the girls. Okay, so after the 100 dumbbell snatch, you're going to move into the 50 push ups. They will be from the floor. You can use anything you need to help get to the floor, even if, uh, if that means you need to have a helper uh, help you down and get you back up. Uh, I'm going to use a box, save the transfer a little bit, and come right to the floor. So for the push-up, for men and women, they'll be the same. Knees will be on the floor, so knees will touch. And then uh, we'll need to clear hips uh, off the floor as much as possible. Obviously, depending on your disability, hips may be a little bit uh, difficult to get off the floor, but you need to do your best. So you have knees on the floor. I'm going to use a mat to save my knees. Uh, for the crawl portion, I suggest some type of um, knee sleeve or knee pad. 
So super simple, you're just gonna flip over. Knees are touching the floor. Down, touch the chest or the bottom, back up. So what wouldn't be considered a rep is only coming down like this, only coming down, not coming all the way down and touching, or coming down, but not locking out at the top. Very easy. Touch down, back up. 50 in total. And directly from there, now you're on the floor. We've just finished your push-ups. We're moving to a crawl. 25 foot crawl, so you must start sitting down behind the line, and then you're gonna crawl 25 feet. So you're gonna want somebody, you're either gonna crawl 12 and a half feet out and 12 and a half feet back, or 25 feet in a full run. But if, you, if you're gonna go 25 feet in a full run, you're obviously gonna want someone to uh, push your chair down to the other end. Um, crawling can be done anyway. Uh, we're, we're not limiting. So crawling can be done uh, anyway as long as you go all four uh, limbs touching for double leg amputees, uh, having as close to the knee as possible. If you don't have a knee, obviously the stump touching, and then you're in this position. So you can scoot two legs at one time, or you can drive one leg at a time depending on what uh, technique works best for you. You may have another technique, but as long as you're in that all four crawl position uh, for the 25 feet, you're great. Okay, the final movement before you move back to the battle ropes is the muscle up. I kind of did my shoulder in uh, a week ago, so I'm gonna just use the ring thing to demo. Um, you're going to be either sitting in your chair or on the floor or on a box, full extension hang. So you can be in a false grip, right, so you can, you can false grip up or you can be in a full hang, your decision. But the arms must be fully extended above head in the seated position. And then you must be able to pull from a full extension and lock out over top. So I was locked at the top, and then come back down to extension. Now, what won't be considered a rep? What won't be considered a rep is if you were to pull either from a started bent position already, so if you're in this bent position to pull, that's not a rep, so you have to be starting from the top or not coming to lock out on the top. So you're up here, but if you only get to, you pull and you only get to the halfway through the dip. So we're here, and this is not a wrap. You need to lock right out on the top, and then come back down. Woo. So I'm gonna show you a couple good reps and then a couple no reps. So a good rep being full lockout, full lockout, back down to full lockout, full lockout. Those are good. Non-reps. So non-reps will be starting in a no, not locked out, so starting in a bent arm, coming back to a bent arm, or starting a full flex or full, or full, full extension, but not finishing. Got to finish to get out. Once the muscle ups are completed, you can come back to the chipper. For the females, will not be muscle ups. The movement will be five 
pull-ups, and five dips. So five ring dips. We'll show you that here in a second. For the girls, we're going to have you be able to return to the seat. In either situation, the bar must be set at full extension. So for me sitting, the bar would have to be just up a little higher or wider grip, but here I am, full extension. So this is for the girls, you'll be able to pull from the seat above bar back to seat. For the women, the same reps will, will qualify, not coming all the way back down to the seated position. So coming up, but only coming part way down, not to full extension or not going all the way above the bar, getting your chin maybe to the bar, but not actually clearing the bar. Either grip is acceptable, mixed grip, chin up grip, or not. Female division for the sub for the muscle up will be five pull ups, five ring dips. Ring dips will be set from a seated position. Ring must be top of the armpit to start and finish each rep. You may sit in between, but you must dip all the way to the top and lock out. So, we see it, here it is. Ring's touching the top of my armpit. I can be in this seated position. Extend, full extension, back down to this position again. What would not be a rep is not finishing full extension at the top. So if we don't extend to the top half, right? So I only go halfway up. That's not a rep or not coming all the way down. So we're here, rings are in the armpit. We come up, but we don't come all the way down. That's not a rep as well. So to finish and start each rep, ring top of the ring in the bottom of the armpit, finish lockout at the top. Be five of those and five pull ups. Okay, so the setup for the last quad one, number three, we're gonna have the 25 foot area mark for the crawl, your dumbbell, your battle ropes, an area on the floor for the push up, and then a spot for your muscle ups, ring dips, or pull ups. So we wanna try and get it all in the frame. You have to set the camera back far enough so you can see it all. Uh, before you start, we want to show... You want to show the length of the me measuring tape. Marks off at 25 feet. For the crawl, you can show the length of your rope. You can show the weight on the dumbbell, 25 or 15. And then you want to make sure there's a clock in the picture as well. Uh, we know sometimes it's difficult to get the clock, so we can use the video stamp if need be to finish that off. So again, make sure we got your crawl marks. So you can pull the tape up if you put tape marks on the floor so we can see them. You don't have to leave the measuring tape on the floor, your dumbbell, your paddle ropes push-up area, that's a big frame, and then uh, when you score this, this total amount of reps done in 17 minutes.